why do we need optimization for machine learning? Let's see. So let me start by saying that optimization is a fairly advanced topic. And if you just started building ML models, you do not nearly need to know a lot of optimization to actually build stuff. But once you get to a certain level, if you want to tweak things and if you want to build custom models and if you want to do more experiments by uh, doing non-standard stuff, then knowledge of optimization is very helpful in coming up with custom solutions. What do you first learn in optimization? So most of us have been through high school calculus where we went through understanding different types of functions and how to find the maxima, minima of functions and so on. And you can see an example here. And we know that in order to find the minima, we need to first set the first derivative to zero and then look at the second derivative and so on. But functions could get more and more complicated, especially when we start writing the so-called loss functions in machine learning. And usually there are no simple closed form solutions that you get by directly equating the derivative to zero, for instance. In optimization, we learn how to come up with algorithms to find maxima and minima of functions in an efficient and effective way. So let's look at some of the things optimization specifically helps us with. The first is understanding loss functions. So what's a loss function? So we have seen that in machine learning, in most of the algorithms, we first write a loss function or an objective function and the solution or the model itself involves, building the model involves finding the best parameters that minimize that loss function. For example, if you take linear regression, maybe you're trying to find your model is nothing but you know a straight line y equals mx plus c and the loss function is nothing but sigma i equals 1 to n yi minus mxi minus c whole square which is called the squared loss and what we want to do here is really find the unknowns m and c how do we find them by solving this optimization problem that we have right here similarly if you look at logistic regression we have a similar loss function which is based on the binary cross entropy loss here and once again the task here, finding the model, involves finding the unknowns w in this case. And this can be done by solving this optimization problem. So the second thing, so the first uh, advantage of learning optimization is to understand loss functions. Whether you see it in a blog or in a paper, uh, to get a better appreciation of loss functions and understand their inner workings as well. The second thing is to understand what solver to use. So different kinds of problems that you solve have different loss functions. For example, regression has certain kind of a loss function that you typically use. Well, classification, you use a different set of loss functions. But whatever loss function you choose, how do you solve it? Or how do you actually go and find the unknowns? What is the algorithm to do that? There are many options. So for example, if you're actually building a deep learning model, you have many solvers available. This is where you would have readily seen your choice of solvers. For instance, you have RMS prop versus uh, ADAM versus momentum, or you, do you want to use uh, stochastic gradient descent versus batch gradient descent versus mini batch gradient descent? Which version do you want to use? So you get a better appreciation of the various solvers available by studying optimization. The third is writing loss functions. Suppose you have a new problem that does not fit in the usual setting. So in the context of deep learning, this is easier to imagine because it's pretty easy for you to write a new loss function and you can leave the solving to the underlying platform typically. So if you write a new loss function, how do you actually do that? Optimization gives you an understanding of how you can write loss functions. writing updates or solvers for an optimization problem. So 
when you come up with your loss function, sometimes you want to implement the solver yourself for reasons of efficiency and so on. Especially when you're not using like, you know, standard platforms like TensorFlow and so on, you might want to write your own solver to make it faster. And you need to get a good appreciation of how different solvers work, not just knowing what the solvers do, but for instance, what is the update in gradient descent? Can I implement this update myself? So, uh, and you also do this uh, a few times when you're actually writing deep learning models as well. So writing updates for an optimization problem, again, is something that you get a deeper understanding with when you study optimization. To summarize, we just saw why we need optimization for machine learning. To understand loss functions when we see them. To pick the right solver for a model we are building. To write new loss functions when the situation arises. And to implement solvers for the custom loss functions that we write and the custom models that we build. Now, do we absolutely need optimization for machine learning? The answer is once again, no. If you're a beginner and you're just building models, and you're just learning to build models, you can do a fair amount of stuff without actually knowing a lot about optimization. But if you want to become an expert where you start tweaking around and building your custom models and writing custom loss functions, and even to get a better appreciation of various solvers available for a given model, a course on optimization will help you. Thank you.